Sandown Park now. Um, I'm helping some injured troops from something called Cart Force and I'm helping them learn how to cart. So obviously right here I'm watching them go around um, and just help just watching from the outside. It's quite good to observe from the outside. Uh, you see quite a lot more. Um, when they come in I can help them with uh, where they need to improve and where, where they can improve and where they're quick and where they're not and uh, help them with their lines into the corner um, and help them in the technique of just driving a cart properly. Normally uh, at the end of the day I'll just go out in the last session with them and, and they'll let them follow me around and uh, hopefully they can pick something up. Um, and normally they're quite quick and I don't get away from that quickly, so um, it's quite encouraging. basically means you have to run from here to over there, uh, touch the line, come back, like, but on a beat. When I go training, I obviously go a lot on my own, but uh, every fortnight I go up and see my trainer, Gerard, who's based near Cranfield University, and we use their um, facilities, their gym. It's always good to go and see him because he gives you a new program and it tells you where, to, where you can improve and where you need to improve. And, and uh, he's, he, we, we get along quite well. We've got a good sort of driver-trainer relationship. The reason I sort of like longboarding is my, my flatmates uh, do it quite a lot and they got, they, they got me into it really. It's having something different to do that isn't entirely motorsport based so um, it's, just quite, it's quite a nice little escape every, for, for an hour every now and then. Maybe I'll leave, feel like 